Okay, so now we're going to get into the plugins. You could change the order of your enabled plugins. You could get more if you'd like. Then listed here are all of the available plugins. Calendar, clock, lock, weather, mail, notifications, phone, RSS feeds, SMS, Twitter, and weather icon. Now you have a weather icon plugin and a clock plugin. Lock weather pretty much gets rid of both of those. So you could turn those two off and just use lock weather. I had calendar off, but turning it on brings it up. Um, should be at the bottom, I believe. No? Anyway, you could have a little calendar show up. It should show different events and whatnot. I don't really use the event, so I don't have that turned on. Uh, clock I don't have turned on. It's just a basic clock. Lock weather, as you saw before, was the clock and the weather. Mail lets you choose which accounts you want to get uh, view mail from, which folders, how many to show. You get some privacy options and some other ones. Notifications uh, shows... You know, your push notifications from Beehive or Boxcar, things like that. Phone. All of this is pretty self-explanatory. Now, RSS feeds, you can add up to five. Five feeds. And then you can have it show up to 20 posts. Change your refresh interval. Things like that. Now, I never use RSS feeds, so I'm just going to get rid of ours You've got mail. and turn that off. Text messages, Twitter, you could go in and log in. Max tweets shown, your refresh interval, you could have it show your timeline, mentions, direct messages, and a couple other things, such as showing the avatar or not. Then we have weather icon, which since lock weather replaces that, you don't really need this. And that was an overview of the plugins and the options and lock info itself. So lock info is really cool. You could download it right now and try it for yourself from Cydia for 14 days, which is two weeks for free. Um, after that period, you'll have to buy it. It's $4.99. And in my opinion, it's really worth it. Uh, considering it does way more than any other lock screen can, while maintaining per overall performance in the device, this is pretty much a must-have for uh, iPhone users. It may not be really much use to uh, iPod Touch users, but overall, this is a really cool mod. At least give it a try. It's, it's just amazing. Seriously. And with that being said, we have a giveaway for Lock Info. We've been able to get three licenses for Lock Info. So all you have to do to enter is go to the website you see at the bottom of your screen or the one that is in the description for the video. And all you have to do is tweet out what is quoted. And that's it. You're automatically entered. You could enter once a day until Friday. February 5th, which is when the contest will end. So go ahead and get that going. If you don't have Twitter, suck for you, I guess. So again, we're going to be giving away three licenses for Lock Info. So if you want a chance to get this for free, go ahead and visit the link in, at, uh, in the description. And this stupid light is really old and not really working too well. Alright, so yeah, that's about it with the video. Uh, I should have a full review of this at GumballTech.com soon, so I'll be looking for that. So that was Brian for GumballTech.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this or something else, just leave it in the comments, and we'll see you next time.